In this video, we're going to look at map, reduce, and filter methods of arrays. So I've already created a file and a folder on my desktop, and I have the main file, so I can just open the main file up. There we go. So let's start by looking at the map function. The map, map method of arrays basically maps each value of the array and then returns a new array with new elements. So let me show you what I mean. So here we're going to talk about map. Let's say we have a variable of numbers. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to map each value to a new value. And we're going to return an array that looks like this. Two, three, 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 four, five, and six. So basically, we're going to add one element to one, add one to each element. So we can do nums dot map, and that's a method. And this method takes a function. So you can just pass in function. The first value that of the parameter in here is n, which represents each value. And here in this function, I can return the value that I want. So in this case, we want to add one to each element in the array. So map is going to return a new array. So we can assign that to mapped. And if I log mapped, we should be able to see two, three, four, five, and six. So that's map. The other method that we have is reduce. Reduce goes through the elements of an array and reduces the elements to a single value. So in this case, we want to, for example, return the sum of all the values. So we're going to reduce the array, reduce the numbers into the sum. So we're going to assign that to sum and we're going to say nums.reduce. And this one, just like the other one, takes a function. The first parameter represents the uh, cumulative action. So whatever it uh, accumulates, so snowballs, it adds it to sum. And the second parameter represents the, each value in the array. So in here, we're just going to return sum plus n. And if we log this out, we should get 15, which is the sum of these values. Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then it holds that in sum. Then it looks at th the next one, which is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Now it's going to add that to 4, which is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. And it will return 15 as the last value. The other method that we want to look at is filter. Filter helps you to filter out some values based on some predicate. So let's say if you want to return all the values that are less than 4, for example, you can use filter. So let's say filtered is nums.filter, and just like the other ones, it takes a function and you can pass it a parameter and that represents each element in the array. And we can return n less than, let's say, 4 or 5 or whatever. So this is going to return 1, 2, and 3. So let's lock that and confirm if that's the case. And I think I did something wrong. Uh, nums.filter. So let's see what the error is. The error is saying nums that filter filter is not a, a function. Did I spell this wrong? Maybe nums that filter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three. These are the values that are less than four. So there you have it. These functions um, take uh, other parameters. You can check out the documentation. For example, map and filter. The second parameter is the index. Uh, so you can uh, use that if you need to. Uh, so that's basically it. These are the uh, fundamental uh, functional methods that uh, exist on the arrays, and you can use them. Oh, by the way, there's also another one called for each, and for each basically iterates over each element but does not return any value. So let me show you. So this is for each. Uh, let's say I want to iterate over each value and just log the value. So for each, just like the other ones, it takes a function. And again, n represents the element, the current element that it's looking at, and we're just going to log n. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that's it. That's all the methods. If you want to learn more, just Google MDN map filter reduce, and it will open up Mozilla's documentation.